Um, yeah, so we'll get into Xbox here. So we have the first big one. They started off the show with the uh, with the reveal of Starfield in-engine gameplay. Mm-hmm. So you saw this. What would you think about it? Uh, you know, one thing I'll say is I think this looks very doable graphically-wise. Yeah, where you may be... Like, it looks great. I wasn't blown away. It looks like that's that same engine. I think it looks great, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. But if we were expecting, like, something crazy advance because that's one of the taglines they even mentioned on the show we've been waiting for the technology to be there okay. and this looks like it's you know their same engine and everything but maybe there's more stuff underneath the hood but no it looks great i like the hud on that gun that looks yeah. really cool i thought first that was a glitch oh. <laughs> happening in real time but no that's like on purpose the little uh, ammo thing on your on your gun um no yeah the engine looks great um i do have some stuff pulled up there was an interview with todd howard right afterwards he uh, oh. kind of detailed some of the gameplay, just a little bit. So this is from uh, Telegraph UK, had the interview with Todd Howard. Todd Howard, uh, more hardcore RPG than previous Bethesda games, speaking on Starfield, can be played in first or third person. It's grounded in scientific reality, but still a game. So there's lasers in a vacuum, just stuff that makes the gameplay fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, alien races and planets, it's very big, and gameplay <laughs> reveal will be closer to launch. <laughs> so we're going to see some... Gameplay clo- reveal closer to launch? That seems odd. Uh, I guess they, they, they're still working on it. They have a whole year, maybe, right? Yeah. Because it's oh. not till next November this, this, wow. this thing's coming out. I wonder if Microsoft just popped in and was just like, yeah, the fire is under the ass now. <laughs> yeah. Go. How do you feel about them now or showing this off with a year, basically a year in advance? Because this is different from the whole um, mm. Fallout 4 reveal where it was uh, shown off and then, what, four months later it came out. I'd almost prefer that um that just closer to to launch i'm curious about I, I i didn't hear his statements afterwards uh the fact that he's saying this is a more hardcore i know somebody was saying they they talked about something he said i guess where they're saying like just getting off the planet is going to be a challenge mm. um so that's got me really curious um yeah what the heck's what the heck's going on with this but i could i could go with a little more hardcore you know any of the elder scrolls aren't that hardcore fallout's not that hardcore after the first like 20 hours true so yeah that's i guess that's gonna be curious but again what's the technology that wasn't possible until now maybe it's their engine has been so crappy that making a game uh has been challenging <laughs> i wonder if uh yeah because if you're leaving the planet it's hard to get off the planet is it kind of a uh, no man's sky situation where it's uh they're rendering a lot you know behind the scenes or just developing the sure. the engine that can let you link between traveling to another world, which takes time, and or creating that distance in space. How does that work? Are you just warping? I don't know. Yeah, I hope there's something cool we're not seeing. I I, I think there's a good chance that there's something very cool. We're That's not That's a good seeing. point. I will pull up the um, the logo or the the key art for the game because Great some people are saying too. right. So people were saying that the um, the box art kind of reveals something about time that might be in play so here is this it looks sort of like an hourglass so i'm gonna pull up on the screen here and they're thinking maybe there's a time aspect oh, going on two planets yeah well just like the uh, from the top of the planet down to the bottom it kind of looks like an hourglass yeah. putting down like sand uh, that's how they work about time works that like sense. if that's a play on the fact that you're going to be traveling between time or that's part of the gameplay mechanic um, but it's a very epic like star wars style uh graphic and looks really dope mm. so we're saying uh outer wilds mixed with uh wh- whatever the game no you were guy. just playing um no, or no uh, ratchet mixed with ratchet where not only are you traveling to all these worlds but you're switching between times right yes, exactly as a possibility now one aspect they confirmed which i think we we're all kind of on board but there was still some speculation is that that this is only coming to xbox platforms because that was one of the right, right the questions with that acquisition how do you feel mm-hmm. about this only being on xbox you got it they put down 10 was it 10 billion it's like 7.5 i want to say you put down the b's you get yeah. the g's that makes sense because yeah. yeah i mean you spend that much money you want to make sure that I, i'm sure there's there's some games that are bethesda run that are going to come across yeah. platform beyond the two that are that are assigned already a death loop and uh, Ghostwire, mm-hmm. but yeah, it makes sense. You spend so much money. It's like, yeah, of course they, they would do this. So 